He was a DEA agent chasing a guy who was breaking bad. He's been stuck under the dome, and now Dean Norris is one of the Sons of Liberty. He plays Ben Franklin, and I had to tell Dean that, you know, he really looks a lot like the guy. <laughs> well, you know, a little bit. Um, obviously, when they put the wig on and we put the glasses on, and, and the costumes are fantastic. The wardrobe is awesome. Uh, uh, it all obviously helps a lot. But uh, it was, uh, you know, I was really excited to get to play this guy. He's such a fascinating character, so it didn't take much to get me to do it. Well, I've watched the trailer, and i got to say, this take on a story that we're all familiar with, but I'm really excited because yeah. this looks like the wilder, more raw version of these guys. Yeah, it really is. You know, it's not your uh, high school history um, class version of the American Revolution. It's really, you know, they were a bunch of rebels. I mean, they were a bunch of crazy, you know, to decide to decide they're going to start their own country and, and fight this huge power at the time was really, truly a revolutionary idea. And you really get to see the kind of kind of raucous body side of these guys, particularly Ben. You know, he. He enjoyed the ladies and he enjoyed his drink, so yeah. you get to see a little bit of that in the show. He, he's a bit of a freak. He was a bit of a he was a bit of a freaky dude. Um, he was like America's original kind of pop star. I mean, <laughs> people loved the guy. They would they would kind of when he came back over from England or France on a ship, they would line up to see him. And when he went over to Paris, they would line up to see him. He was a real popular guy. He was a he was a man of the people. But he became famous and rich for, for inventing things and things that really helped people in their lives, and they loved the guy. You know, in addition to him being a genius, he was also uh, just kind of a common guy, and he, he liked to have fun. And when history does these miniseries, not only are they entertaining, but the idea is you learn something new uh, about this time and about these characters, or I should say these people. So what did you learn, whether it was about Ben Franklin or anybody else that may have surprised you in, in doing this miniseries? Yeah, you know, it, it, I think what I, for me, what kind of struck me was really how tenuous this whole thing was. I mean, the I, we, we kind of look back and go, oh, we became this nation. But really, it was because some really kind of crazy guys decided that they uh, didn't want to be bossed around by a king anymore. And it, it, you know, our founding fathers, who we revere and respect, rightfully so, were really some, some, some you know, some rebellious guys. And uh, it's amazing how, how, you know, close things were to not really working out. And if, if it weren't for the, the, the kind of motivations and the, and the strong will of these, of these guys, uh, we wouldn't be here today. Now, Better Call Saul is coming out next month. And I, I got to ask the question, yeah. is there a chance that at some point Hank could show up? <laughs> at some point? There's, cer uh, there's certainly a chance at some point that that could happen, absolutely. Now, is that weird, though, because you look back at that show and how incredible it was. Is it almost weird to kind of like kind of go back to that world and tell yet another story? Yeah, it would be kind of weird. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes and what happens. It'd be kind of like going back to, you know, your high school reunion or something like that. You know, so I'm not sure how it would feel. Yeah, we knew he wasn't going to give everything away. Sons of Liberty, a three part miniseries, premieres this Sunday night at nine o'clock on the History Channel.